What is up, everyone? My name is Tim Kramer with Brian the Grizzly, Brand Man Brandon, and we are going to watch the new Hunger Games, the Ballad, the Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. Um, so this is a prequel to the to the first trilogy or right trilogy, yeah, trilogy. of Hunger yeah. Games. So um, yeah, so let's check it out and then let's uh, let's talk about it. Move that there. Let me know if you guys can hear it. I am honored to introduce to you the creator of the Hunger Games themselves, Dean Casca Highbottom. I have summoned you all here for the 10th annual reaping ceremony in which we choose two children from each district to fight to the death in the Hunger Games. From District 12, Lucy Gray Bear. There has been a change this year. As a mentor, Mr. Snow, your role is to turn these children into spectacles, not oh. survivors. What does my mentor do besides bring me roses? I do my best to take care of you. You really want to take care of me in that arena? Start by thinking I can actually win. I'm Lucky Flickerman. First ever host of The Hunger Games. Enjoy the show. Five, four, Enjoy the show. three, two. Enjoy the show. Run. Enjoy the show. What happens in there? Fueled with the terror of becoming prey. See how quickly we become predator? See how quickly civilization disappears? There's a natural goodness built into us all. We can step across that line into evil, or not. You hear that, boy? It's the sound of snow <laughs> falling. How wonderful that we all get to be here for someone's final performance. It's not just about winning. Everything is about winning. You monsters! All of you! <laughs> oh! <laughs> It's the things we love most that destroy us. Okay. What'd you guys think? So, we first talked about this. I wasn't sure I was going to even enjoy watching this uh, trailer. And then we were as we were watching it, I realized I was just mesmerized by the trailer. <laughs> like like the story was, yeah. was something. I was like, wow, am I just sitting here? And I, I had to look outside myself for a second. I was like, oh man, we're all sitting here just mesmerized by what we're watching. That tells you it's a good trailer and might be a good concept. And I'm in I'm I'm down, I guess. I guess I'm going to watch the Hunger Games again. I, <laughs> I was done after three. I was like, man, I'm out. Yeah. Peter, this is stupid. <laughs> I will to the day I die. She should have died. She should have died. Been the been the the Jesus of the the story, yep. the the Messiah and all that stuff. But yeah, I guess that's what happens when it's a a YA book. Yeah. <laughs> the main character can't die. So I don't know. What about you, Randy? What do you think about it? It's an okay trailer. Mm -hmm. I uh. I'm not ter I'm not too invested in Hunger Games, so I uh, when I heard they were making this movie, I'm like, uh, I guess. <laughs> yeah. After the trailer ended, and that was my first time watching the trailer, I think I kind of had the same reaction, like, uh, I guess. <laughs> Was it? Yeah, I don't know. I I I don't love the Hunger Games. They were entertaining enough. Um, first one but... was good. Second one was pretty good. Third one was booty. <laughs> I think that I think that contributes to what I'm saying. Like, yeah, Mockingjay was uh wasn't it for me. 
Yeah, it's I, like, right. I like the first. I like the first one. I, I I did like Catching Fire quite a bit. Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, this would be a prequel to uh, to Snow's character. It seems interesting because in this one he doesn't. It, I think that's what pulled me in was like the person who we know who's this like big bad guy who's like, you know, didn't begin the, as that. Yeah, you know, because he seems very different in this one. So I'm kind of interested on what happens, you know, because especially at the end where they put um, what's his name's uh, uh, voice, you know, it was like all oh, the things we love the most when I'm killing you or, or hurting you, whatever he said. And I was like, oh, so I wonder if they're going to that, you know, something he's going to love that's going to hurt him and blah, blah, blah. So and turn yeah. him into the monster that he becomes. Yeah. Yeah. But um, the horror geek said, uh, I know some insiders have been hyping up Hunger Games, the Ballad of Songbird and the Snakes. Okay, I haven't heard too much about it. I, well, also, I haven't really looked into it too much. Um, it said, uh, Horgie said, the only Hunger Games movie I liked was Catching Fire, which was the second one. I didn't, I didn't mind it. I didn't mind it. But it was like a part one. I, and sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. When it's like a finale, when like the second and third one are more of a part one, part two yeah. kind of thing. Matrix did it. You know, the other, other movies tend to do it as well. Um. And then, uh, even though I heard mediocre things about the about the movie, uh, about the books, oh uh, yeah, I heard yeah I heard that the bo- books weren't good at all. Yeah, but sometimes well. sometimes you go ahead and get a movie out of it, and it it it, it helps you visualize what the, what the writer was trying to get across. And I'm hoping that that's what this is. And you know, maybe I, I'm I'm no longer gonna be enthralled by that world. Yeah, that world is dead to me. Whatever, but. I could watch another movie. Yeah, yeah. Let's we'll see how how it starts before it dies. Yeah. Oh, and then, you uh, been good. Yeah, yeah. Um, their fourth straight November release. Interesting. Well, I mean, November is a good time, you know, to try to get good numbers. November, December. So family people don't have they have less to do. Go like to the movies and you know the holidays exactly around Thanksgiving. People are around. Get your good boost. I imagine if Black Adam that wasn't released during the Thanksgiving time. <laughs> well, also like Hunger Games is is a you know young adult kind of um, book series, so you have to kind of work around that audience. So when our high schoolers not in school, you know, you know Christmas break, you know um, um, Thanksgiving break and stuff like that, because this comes out when did it come out? November seventeenth. That's right like before right, right before, before Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Yeah. yeah. So they, you know, they know, they know what they're trying to do. So that does, that does make sense. Yeah. Those young people like Brandon, man, you know, they, <laughs> they need to have time off of school and doing their stuff. So you know. yeah, go, go hang out with their fellow, fellow <laughs> class, fellow young people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, more of a battle royale fan uh, when it comes to a teenager death game. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I know Hunger Games was that's a the original battle royale mm-hmm. from uh, and then all the video games took took it. But I'm yeah. more of a celebrity death match guy, so this is me. <laughs> Love celebrity it. death match. Yeah. Love so. celebrity death match. Yeah, they need to bring bring that back. Where's the yeah. live action of that? Dude, dude, like that. Live action. <laughs> <laughs> I'd, I'd I'd be game for a live. <laughs> I'd I'd be good with with a clay animated theatrical release. Just super violent. Just give me two hours of, of celebrity death match on screen. Not just, just clay animated celebrities beating the hell out of each other. <laughs> like the original Hunger Games. <laughs> but, but it looks good. You know, I'm very. You know, sucked in because the trailer looked pretty. I'll give it that. Mm-hmm. Out of anything, is like it looked really, really pretty. It looked really interesting. It's got um, Viola Davis and Peter Dinklage, so that that that'll probably you know that'll be enough for me to get a ticket. Yeah, yeah. I mean, even like stuff like uh, oh yeah, I had it. you know, like old school, yeah, TV you know. monitors and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. They, they they got President M. Snow looking like Eminem. When, when he, um, yeah, he shaves his head. I was trying to see is like, is that him or is that a different character there? That gotta be him, like, like, a, like early, like him doing the games or something like that. 
Could be. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, I'm I'm interested in it. Oh, oh not that one. Hell sucks. <laughs> but uh, the book Battle Royale, which put Japan high school students uh, that are classmates in a death game. Really? <laughs> oh, it came out in the 90s? Oh, okay. I'll check that one out. I'm but, all for that. Let's do it. <laughs> I'm all for kids killing each other. <laughs> nah. I mean, that's what the Hunger Games is, and people freaking love the hell out of that. <laughs> Let's watch the, the little girl that we all love die. Kill everybody. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, I was in a row, or, right? Yeah. Roof. 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 Yeah. That, that, was, that, was, that was sad. Yeah. Right off the bat, we're like, oh, we're going to rip out your heart, and we're not going like, to let off. <laughs> we're going to keep, keep going. But cool, man. Anything else on this trailer? No. no um, the world might be kind of over for me, but I still give the movie a chance. Same. Same. I'll probably be there sometime, sometime in December, Thanksgiving, you know, so we'll see. Um, cool. But that's it for the Hunger Games, the prequel, the Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. Leave a comment. Let us know what you think. Uh, did you like it? Uh, is it interested? Are you over it? You know, Brian, like you're like, you know, the world's dead. <laughs> you know, that universe is dead. So why do I care? Or does this like kind of like bring you back into it all? Um, but leave a comment. Let us know what you think about this trailer um, and hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. We're on our way to a thousand. So we're going to be announcing our giveaways. Yes, giveaways, multiple giveaways for the thousand subscriber contest that should be coming up as soon as we hit that milestone. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and share with your family, friends, loved ones. Come check us out and come be part of the show live every Monday and Thursday. But cool that is it uh if you're watching live stick around we're gonna talk about some other stuff if you're watching our replay appreciate you guys and uh let's move on to the next topic